Maybe the first transfer list, part one, where I was talking about the general consensus of what people believe and perceive to be reference quality 4K Blu-rays. This time, we got part two in this bitch. Brass tags. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're grabbing your loved ones and I hope you're sitting in front of the computer, the laptop, what have you, and you're watching your boy. Because what your boy is gonna talk about today is part two of the best reference quality transfer list. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. New subscribers, welcome. Existing subscribers, I love you guys. This is about what the general consensus feels, the critics and what have you. So let's just get on with it. Deadpool in this bitch. Ryan Reynolds is awesome as Deadpool. I can't think of a better person to play Deadpool. Awesome movie, awesome superhero movie. Looks great in 4K, especially the HDR. Really makes the colors, the costumes stand out like crazy. It really does. It adds a lot of detail. There's a scene in the middle of the movie which involves a fight in the fire. God damn. If there was ever a reason to show off HDR, that's your scene right there. Awesome, awesome movie, reference quality. One I reviewed a little while ago, not too long ago, and I love this movie, and you know what, I can't even disagree with this, and that's Hacksaw Ridge in this bitch. That movie is A1. The transfer is actually A1. Great movie, fantastic, fantastic transfer. It's gotta be in your list. Andrew Garfield's acting is A1 in that bitch. 100%. I don't disagree that this is a reference quality transfer, but I still prefer the 3D of that bitch. Although the movie is there, uh, that's in the heart of the sea. I think the movie's a little slow. I wanted to see more of the whale attacks and I wanted a bit more action in it. I think the movie could have been a lot shorter than it actually was. I think it, it was a bit slow in parts. The 4K transfer of that bitch was something else. God damn, it was too clear. Some of the CGI stood out but the movie, this, the, the quality is just fantastic. And it's full screen. So that's another one, if, you, if you're a fan, if you did like that movie, then it's another one you'd want to add to your collection, point blank period. I actually disagree with this, and I'll tell you why. Because I believe that it is reference quality. It is reference quality in parts. Yeah, because they're shot with various different cameras and what have you. And that is The Martian. Everything on Mars is awesome. But there's one thing. There was two versions of the 4K. One was obviously the one that came out initially, and the second one was the extended edition. And I feel that the extended edition has had a bit of a, a different color grading than the previous release. And I think actually the previous release looked better, to be honest. But in any case, the shots on Mars, A1 in this bitch. The shots on Earth, very good. Uh, when I call something reference quality, I'm saying from start to finish, it is what it is. That being said, it's a great movie. Now, is this demo worthy? Yes, it is demo worthy in Mars, absolutely. So, if you're a fan of Matt Damon, pick that bitch up. Now, when people mention the Smurfs too, that's not something I would think of and think that could be a reference quality disc. I don't own that disc, I can be real with you, but I've seen the disc in action. God damn! That is a reference quality disc. It's beautiful. I don't care much for the movie, and I'm telling you, I haven't even watched the movie properly. I was skipping through bits and pieces, and I was absolutely blown away. Now, if you want to get that movie just for the transfer, then you're very welcome. It's an A1 transfer. It's on the reference list. What do you want me to say? It's a beautiful, beautiful transfer. That's as far as I go with it. I ain't even gonna watch that bitch fully. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I kind of disagree with a little bit because I think it has amazing, amazing HDR. Unquestionably. And it is sharper and it is a great looking transfer. I would once again call this reference in parts, okay? I wouldn't call it reference from start to finish and that is Life of Pi. The 3D is better of this bitch. I don't care what anyone says. The 3D version is the version to get in this bitch. Amazing, that movie was designed for 3D, but that being said, if you haven't seen the 3D version of the movie, then this is the version to get unquestionably. It is a beautiful, beautiful transfer. And it's got some wow moments in this bitch, 100%. We're gonna end with this one. As far as animated movies go, the Lego movie is gorgeous in 4K. Absolutely, the HDR adds so much more detail and color to, to an already beautiful uh, animated Blu-ray. Right, 1080p was very nice. This one just brings it up another notch and it's like crystal clear. Crystal clear in this bitch. One of the best animated 4K titles that there are, hands down. The movie's pretty good too. I really wanna see uh, uh, the Batman one that looks like a lot of fun, but yeah, amazing. 
Guys, that's my second list out of the way. There's gonna be another one of these bitches. Let's just keep it real. Thing about reviews is that they're subjective anyway. You look at 10 reviews on the same movie, they'll probably all agree that they're really good and maybe some people will even say they're reference quality. But you know, that's the thing. What you gotta look at with reviews sometimes is you gotta look at the, the player one is using, the TV one is using it on, like for instance, let's say I review a movie on an on a OLED. You may not have an OLED, so you may not see everything I see, or vice versa. I may see it on my TV, you may see it on an OLED and be like, wow, uh, yeah, he said it was a good transfer, but god damn, this is referencing this bitch. So in that respect, you know, things are subjective. All I can do is guide you to whether something is really good or whether something isn't. I think I'm really harsh with reviews, so I think if I say something's reference, then yeah. You could take that shit to the bank. But anyway, guys, look, thanks for watching. There's going to be another list because I know there's going to be people who are saying you missed out A, B, and C. Trust me, they'll be in the next one. Don't worry all about it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. List two out of the way. Done and dusted. I'll catch you guys soon.